Welcome guys to another video of the Before You Buy series where we talk about brand new skins and upcoming skins. I'm the skin appraiser and this is Battlecast Zack. Battlecast Zack is an epic skin with a price tag of 1350 RP. For the splash art the details and textures looks good. Although the splash art is a bit dark making Zack look darker than in game. The liquid metal texture is good on lighted areas but dull on darker ones. I will give it an 8 out of 10. For the accuracy, his jaw is barely noticeable and he kinda looks like Morphling from Dota. But to be fair, this category is kinda useless to Zack. So I think the only inaccuracy is his color. But Riot said they will tweak his color to closely match his in-game model. We don't have that splash art yet, at least at the time of this recording, so I will give the accuracy a 9 out of 10. For the appeal, the splash art is unique and interesting compared to any other skins of Zack. I think it can stand out, so I will give the appeal a 10 out of 10. This is the loading screen. There's no event, so no borders and icons. For the in-game model, the design looks good and I like the color palette. Although some people did not like how bright his texture is, especially if you compare him to any other battle class skins. But personally, I like it. I also like the orange parts across his body, except those around his shoulders. They are way too big and looks like an open wound. His arms and legs looks pretty cool, but I kinda wish we got the modern legs like in the splash art. But that would require the skin to be a legendary skin. Overall, I will give this design a 9 out of 10. For his face, his eyes looks big compared to his splash art. And he doesn't look that scary, but he still looks good so I will give him a 9 out of 10. As for the animations, we only have a new recall animation while the rest stays the same. It's not how much you can lift, it's how big you are! For the sound effects, his bloblets when he dies looks alright, the blobs that falls on the ground looks ugly, and the green visual effects on his healing is a bit too much. His Q makes his arm transform into a blade, which is a cool idea, but as soon as it hits the champion, it's just a regular sticky arm. And the visual effects on the ground is a little bit concerning, it makes his Q a bit more obvious. W is alright, his E looks amazing with the fire visual effects on Zuck's body. But the landing area visual effects might be way too obvious as well. His ultimate is pretty much the same. Overall, his visual effects have some cool ideas but also have some bad ones. And those holographic visual effects on the ground might make this a pay to lose skin. I will give the visual effects a 7 out of 10. For the sound effects, they sound good and simple. They are a mix of metallic sound effects and blob sound effects. They sound almost like classic. The most noticeable sound effects is his charging E. I will give the sound effects an 8 out of 10.
there are six chromas to choose from. Obsidian is probably the best, especially if you like the darker color similar to his splash art. If you want to see more, you can watch this video where you can compare every single chroma to the classic one. Battle Kazak is a great and refreshing concept. Hopefully this skin can open some more unique skin ideas for Zack, not just the same old blob skins. The skin looks great but my only concern is the visual effects on his Q and E. The landing area visual effects does not appear in my recording, but they are pretty much the same as SKT Zack. And from my experience, those landing area visual effects are visible to the enemy. The total score is 60 out of 70. I will give Battle Kazak a master rating. So, are you looking to buy this skin? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, this video is my personal opinion. Leave a like and subscribe for more skin appraisal. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.